Aguadulce is a Spanish town in the municipality of Roquetas de Mar, province of Almeria, in the autonomous community of Andalusia. It is located in the region of Poniente Almeriense, about 14 kilometers from the city of Almeria, along the national road N340, and 14 kilometers along the dual carriageway in 2018. It had a population of 16,176 inhabitants, although during summer the population triples due to tourism, the main economic engine of the town. The towns of Aguadulce, Las Hortichuelas and Campillo del Moro did not originally belong to the municipality of Roquetas de Mar, but they were added in the first third of the 20th century. The reason was that the Enix Town Council, to which these places belonged, proposed to cede to Roquetas de Mar if this municipality undertook the payment of the debits that Aguadulce had. In the summers, the population increased slightly due to the incipient tourism that began in those times. We must not forget that it was in Aguadulce where the influx of tourists began to arrive. In 1964 Aguadulce was declared the first national interest center of Spain. The few holidaymakers who arrived in this town did not stay in luxurious chalets or splendid mansions on the shore of the beach, but in modest houses that they rented or bought in the center of the neighborhood, making on the shore of the beach a hut to enjoy sunbathing and sea bathing, and that once they finished the holidays they were disarmed until the next year. And so it went from having 27 houses and 300 inhabitants in 1950 to become the headquarters of a stable population that exceeds 15,000 inhabitants and that during the summer months the figure triplies, reaching about 45,000 people. On April 2019 it was formed Aguadulce en Marcha, led by Francisco Javier Garcia Fernandez, in order to solve the town problems and create Aguadulce as Entidad Local Autónoma. The town is equidistant, 10 kilometers, give or take, from Roquetas de Mar and the city of Almeria, and to get there you'll first have to drive through impressive tunnels and along huge cliffs and vertical walls that plunge into the sea. Once there, you'll have your pick of things to do. It's such a famed destination that the population triples in size in summer. In addition to tranquil beaches and beautiful natural surroundings there's the marina and the promenade with a variety of restaurants and nightlife to sample. There are plenty of water sports and cultural activities on offer too. Now the marina lies at the foot of the Canary Cliffs and is a good place to start a stroll through Aguadulce. This will be your entry point into the town from the east if you've come from Almeria capital. It's one of the largest marinas on the Almerian coast, it has 764 berths, and you'll find plenty of pubs, bars and restaurants, all of which are popular during the long summer nights. In fact, Aguadulce has gradually become one of the largest nightlife hubs in all of Almeria province. Try Stanley and DeMarco, a restaurant, pizzeria which has been bringing quality Italian cuisine to its customers since 2003. For daytime entertainment, the port-based Aquatours provides diving courses for all levels, including Try Dives. One of the best dive itineraries includes a trip to see vast swathes of Posidonia, an endemic marine plant considered a natural treasure in Almeria. The promenade in Aguadulce stretches two kilometers from the marina along the main beach, which has a blue flag as testament to the quality of the water, the sand and the services available. The promenade is lined with bars, restaurants, ice cream parlors and souvenir shops. Try Nuevo Amar for seafood and fried foods, or coral if you fancy sampling Cuban cuisine. At La Piedra, Argentinian meat dishes are fused with traditional Spanish tapas culture. Almost at the end of the promenade is Chiringuito J. Emilio, the perfect place for a cocktail and good food in a chilled atmosphere. Aguadulce Mall Centro Commercial 501 is an outdoor mall just 250 meters from the sea at the western extreme of Aguadulce. 
It's also known as Las Fezas, and it has restaurants and some of the most highly rated bars in the entire province. All have free entry and offer a wide range of music catering to all tastes.